How's it going guys? Will here and these are all the different things that you need to solder and desolder switches. So I asked a bunch of people and this was actually the main reason why they chose not to get into custom mechanical keyboards. They didn't want to do the soldering. But the thing is soldering isn't actually that hard so I thought I'd make this quick little tutorial to show you how to desolder and then solder mechanical keyboard switches. Now I have this old Magic Force 68 with a bunch of Lou Gator on blacks in. I have my solder sucker. I got my solder. Ugh. I got my solder and of course I have my cheap rubbish soldering iron. So you don't need to spend a ton of money to do this. You just need a soldering iron that works, a solder sucker, some switches and a PCB. So first of all, desoldering. How do you do it? Well, you'll need your soldering iron and your solder sucker. First of all, set your soldering iron to a medium to low heat and give it time to heat up. While we're waiting for that, I might as well introduce today's sponsor, which is Nobody. If you're interested in sponsoring, well, there's an email on my contact page. Okay, so now that this is nice and up to heat, the first thing you wanna do is clean the tip of your soldering iron. Now, I'm using a sponge, but you can also use those like mesh things. I'm not exactly sure what they're called. I'm not the expert at soldering, but I know that sponges definitely work. Once it's nice and shiny like that, we can actually begin desoldering. So the first thing you want to do, once it's up to heat, you just want to touch the joint with your soldering iron until it starts to turn to liquid, then just grab it with the solder sucker. That's all you need to do. Clean out your solder sucker by doing that. And now you're ready to do an entire keyboard. I would recommend cleaning your soldering iron every two to three switches because the solder actually oxidizes the tip. So you just need to just need to clean it off. Dab it on your sponge or your mesh. If it doesn't come off immediately, I'd say just gently heat it up again. I'd say leave it about 10 seconds before trying a second time. But it's a pretty simple rinse and repeat process after that. After this, just poke your switch through using something blunt. And there we have it, one desoldered switch. Now to solder your switch, you'll want to first of all plug it in from the front. Just like that. Then take your soldering iron, clean the tip again. This step is super important. You want to add a little bit of solder to the tip because it will allow the rest of the solder to stick better. After this, you'll want to make a connection between the leg and the joint and simply feed the solder through from the other side. And there we go. Perfect. That is exactly the shape you want your solder to look like. When soldering keyboards or anything really, I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on anything, but when soldering keyboards, your joint should look like a volcano. So let's go ahead and do this other one. Again, feeding it from the side. Never touch your solder with your soldering iron directly and just bring it off. After this, again, simply rinse and repeat. Now, one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to leave your soldering iron on too long. I'd say between three and five seconds. If you leave your soldering iron on too long, then you do run the risk of burning out your PCB. And of course, I will absolutely admit that I've done it before. I'm making this video so you don't have to. It honestly is as easy as that to change your switches. And once you're done, you will have a brand new custom mechanical keyboard. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you want to see more content like this and smash the subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 10k by the 1st of June. So every single subscription is massively appreciated. My hair is out of control today. I'm done and I will see you guys in the next video.